Okay, so I'm on my way to Lindemar to go surfing, which is in Pacifica, and then I will just stay around in Pacifica and do a painting over there. It's not often that I will surf and plein air paint the same day. Sometimes I'll surf and then come back and do, uh, come back and do studio work. Uh, but this is something that I've talked about with Araya and also uh, Dennis Tyson. You may have seen them in my videos. We've talked about how it'd be really cool to do like a surf paint vlog kind of thing. We were going to do that, but then lockdown happened and I put that on hold. Uh, but today I'm going to give it a go. All right, so the waves are pretty small, but as usual, I'm gonna get out there and get some exercise and make the most of it. All right, still looking a little chalky from the zinc uh, sunscreen, but I had a great time. Super fun, exhausting though, and I'm starving. So I'm gonna try to find a taqueria. All right, so it turns out there's like three taquerias in town here. Uh, I'm just gonna have to try all of them eventually, but I think I'm gonna go with Taqueria Green Enchilada. All right, so this thing was $13.33. Um, that's the most expensive Taqueria burrito I've ever gotten. That's without water or chips. It better be good. Uh, so what did I get? I got black beans, rice, cheese, avocado, and some marinated tofu. All right, so as you can see, like the ingredients are super fresh. Definitely kind of gourmet. Taqueria, the green enchilada, is not really a traditional taqueria. I mean, it's a little fancy. Food was good. Took way too long. I mean, literally almost a half hour. I don't know what was going on in there, but very tasty, but very pricey. So one of the challenges of surfing and then painting is that I don't want the wax on my board to melt. So I covered it with this towel and actually it's pretty good. When I parked, there wasn't sun, but this area where the sun, even though the towel was over it, yeah, that, that wax is melting. So I'm gonna have to park the car in the shade if I can. All right, so I hope I didn't forget anything. It looks like I got it all. Definitely gonna need more ultramarine. And burnt sienna, of course. And phthalo, phthalo blue, green shade. And 
obviously white and I'll keep this uh, tube in my backpack too in case I need more. I'm not going to put out a cool yellow today. I think I'll be fine without it. Oh, dioxazine purple is very helpful. This trail is definitely steeper than I remember. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking a good nap later, that's for sure. I'm actually kind of tempted to do this view right here, uh, incorporating the path maybe, and then these rocks. Uh, I don't like how the top of this, you know, this sort of rock here lines up with the water, but I could like lower the water a little bit maybe. I'm a little nervous about the wind. It's, uh, the gusts are pretty strong, but I've clipped my backpack to my easel and I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. Alright, so I'm going with a 16 by 16 and the wind is kind of coming at this angle, so uh, I think it's going to be alright. Kind of moving things around the only thing that concerns me is this big open space i may put some suggested uh suggested wave motion in there to create interest and then also this line is a little bit too straight so i might drop that down a little bit more and kind of exaggerate it All right, so I just covered the panel really quickly and now I'm gonna to try to get some more accurate colors.
All right, so I've been painting for about an hour and a half and I think I'm gonna stop here. Let's take a look. All right, so I actually do like the composition and I was able to do kind of what I had in mind, which was incorporate the path and then, uh, you know, out towards these rocks. Got some nice color, this ice red ice plant here. Pretty sketchy, but as you guys know, that's what I like. So there's a bunch of like sparkle all over the water. That was not there when I started. Uh, and I don't want to like put the little sparkles on because that just, I don't know, it kind of breaks up the overall design. Uh, so I just kind of suggested some white water uh, here and there, and then also try to lighten the water by the horizon to create some atmosphere. All right, the location I painted today is called Muscle Rock in Pacifica. And I have painted this location before, but not this particular uh, composition. You know, I was just walking down the hill to kind of paint closer to the water and that scene really grabbed me. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, I did kind of experiment with the composition. I sketched out and then I wiped it out and started over. Uh, I didn't like how the rocks or the cliffs were coming out too close to the center of the panel. Um, so I did make that change and I've talked about that before. Um, instead of doing sketches, uh, which is probably a good idea, I just sketch on the panel and then if I don't like, uh, you know, how things are laying out, then I'll kind of wipe it down and start over again. Uh, usually I can get it on the second try, but, you know, occasionally it'll take three tries or maybe even more. Um, so I'm just kind of playing around at that stage and familiarizing myself with the scene. Um, but... Overall, this was a good day, but a tiring day, exhausting to do two uh, sort of, you know, high energy activities or uh, activities that require a lot of energy, um, but it was, uh, it was really good and I'm going to take a nap. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, keep me making these videos. There's a Patreon link down below. I've got a lot of videos on there as well. Uh, but other than that, stay creative and I'll see you guys in the next video.